and welcome to your gone market update for today friday the 20th of may we hope you're all well mike smith senior analyst at gone markets here to take you through a meander of the markets let's have a look at what's coming across the news today of course overnight we saw us equities drop further in a choppy session taking the s p 500 within one percent of bear market territory we had weaker jobs data, rising oil prices and retail earnings fallout being the major market chatter. Generally speaking, not a dreadful session. And we're seeing some positivity in Asia this morning, despite that weak US lead. We've seen US futures up mildly positively. Asian indices to the upside. The ASX is around about 0.8% up. And European futures pointing to a mixed but slightly positive open. US dollar index was weaker again yesterday and moved to two week lows. Gold popped as a result and moved back towards that critical 1850 level following the bounce off 1800 earlier in the week. Oil is also high with the Brent contract moving towards the top of the range, and copper is at two week highs. Despite that equity market weakness overnight, we saw the VIX drop back below 30, which looked again to be important. Cryptos are all over the place at the moment. Bitcoin looked as though it was going to sell off yesterday, moved down below 30, but moved higher in the overnight session, closed back above 30,000 again. There is some follow through in Asian trading, but very cautiously trading around 32,000 at the moment. Not a massive data for the market to digest today, but Chinese interest rate and policy statement will be interesting. UK retail sales and Eurozone consumer confidence are the major data releases today. Not a great deal coming out of the US tonight. Be interesting to see how we close on Friday after what's been a choppy week. If we look at last Friday, we had a very nice rally going on in the US as people closed a lot of short positions. One wonders whether that might happen again. Let's just have a quick check in on a couple of charts that caught our eye today so far. With that USD strength, we've checked out most of the USD pairs and we actually like the GB pound USD. You can see that critical key level on the daily chart at 125, one of those round numbers that the market likes so much. If we look on the 30 minute chart, you can see it tested this in the overnight session without closing above on the 30 minute chart. We're just watching to see if we get some momentum back as an upswing to take us to that level. And even for short term traders, there's a potential scarping 25 pips there to be made if we do look as though we're going to move higher a few stocks booking the trend on the asx today we actually like xro so zero the accounting software it really has dropped from its glory days of close to 150 significantly giving up almost half of that but we see a nice bounce off this if we put it on a line chart you'll see this resembles a reverse head and shoulders pattern we're putting the line in the sand at around about 1950 it's a little shy of that at the moment but really worth keeping an eye on over the course of the day and into next week trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now